Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Being able to resonate with people and know we got a lot in common, even though we're dealing with our own situations, which can really work our last nerves. It seems like we're all resonating with the spiritual shifts that's going along with those situations. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been, um, if you are comfortable enough, that's what I meant to say. I got that all messed up. If you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'd love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gifts, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times or, you know, uh, need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so gratefully appreciated. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And, you know, we support each other in the long run. So, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, I'm listening to 432 Hertz, Heal Your Aura, Boost Your Positive Energy, Theta, Binarial Beats, Positive Mindset. I needed that for a minute. <laughs> but anyway, the video I'm doing today is called uh, uh, Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you are evolving and people around you are not even ready yet. They're not because you are doing the soul, you, you're doing the soul reconstruction. You're doing the self care. You're doing, uh, you know, bettering your mental health as well as, you know, soul strengthening. And people around you probably have been offish or even, you know, pulling a lot of solitude right now because you have to work on you. You don't have time to be you know it going off on everybody else's energy and just dealing with everything that they got going on and that's not a selfish thing for you to do you know because sometimes i be feeling bad like when i'm you know i'm like oh i really need to do some videos but it's just not in me today and it's just like i want to make sure i'm in that right vibe you know if i know i need to work on myself there's a lot of clearing i might do you know i might be irritated that day and i don't need that kind of vibe coming towards y'all you're like rosa what's going on with you today and i'm like nah, nah, nah. i need to work on me you know, that's the reason why I took two days off because, you know, I was going through some stuff as, you know, anybody does. But some people are like, girl, we don't even know you have a, uh, you know, a sad day because I don't project that on nobody. I'm, I'm not that type of person that misery loves company. I might, you know, deal with a one-on-one -on -one that I feel like, you know, I can vent with them and they can vent with me. And that's cool. You know, that's really cool. But it's just like doing that on video. I just really don't care for it. Because it's just like, you know, you got to work on your self-care. You know, that's why I tell people, you know, you should always make time for yourself. You really should. Because it's like with me, I, back last year, I used to burn myself out until I was running on fumes. You know, I was like, duh, 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 talking real fast, whatever, whatever. Because I was doing six and seven videos, doing live, doing one-on-ones, doing, you know, face-to-face, face -face you know, con uh counseling because i always call myself it's like counseling because if people don't understand what they're going through or trying to process what they truly are because a lot of times they know that they have the empath gift but they don't know what spiritual labels even though i don't really like labels but it's good to know hey you're an indigo hey you're a white witch hey this and this and that because i tend to pick up on certain things about people they didn't really know for sure themselves and you know and that's a good thing i really feel like i love doing what i do i really do but there's times I need to pick out for myself as well. So it's just like when you're doing all this evolving and the people that you used to deal with on your surroundings, they're not going to be able to approach you. They don't know how to approach you because you have shifted so many times. And it's a lot of times, you know, people are like, oh, such and such is acting funny. They don't really want to talk to us. It's not about that. You know, let them feel how they want to feel at times. You know, there are sometimes people say, because who I found out who I'm related to, I act funny. No, it's not the fact that I act funny. You know, if it's you probably thinking I'm acting funny because that's the fact that you are. You know, and it's just a lot of people that I have grew up with, you know, they, they don't mess with me that way anymore. And that's fine. You know, I just cut them out of my life. It's no, you know, no harm, no foul to me. 
you know, and it's just like when you're going on your glow up, when you're going on them blessings, there's sometimes you got to cut out the knit and gritty Tom, Dick, and Harry and all them, them folks the riffraff because it's like you're evolving in so many different ways you're getting in touch with your spiritual self you're acknowledging your spiritual self because before we used to neglect things like that and that's the reason why we had that daggone spiritual awakening in the first place it takes you to have to go through a major tragedy and say hey <clears throat> you're this and this and this and this and that well why did you tell me in the first place you wouldn't have been listening they probably have been sending you, you know, signs about this situation every single day, but you weren't paying attention. You knew things were off. There was things about you that really wasn't, you know, that you really couldn't put your finger on. Because there's times I've been like, something seemed very off. I don't know what it is, but it is something I'm not picking up on. And I was like that for a while. You know, I had dreams about my father passing away like two years before it actually happened. And I thought it was about my adopted father. And, you know, that was a very tragic thing for me to go through. Like, I, I felt blood in my mouth. Didn't know where the blood was coming from. You know, I ended up seeing a picture of my dad. And he had blood in his mouth. You know, it was just so many different things that I was picking up on and really didn't understand what was going on. And that's a tragic thing for you to hear your dad's dying in the elevator. And, you you know, I mean, there's times I woke up and I had blood up under my fingers because I was digging you know digging in the metal doors trying to get it open and waking up you know triggered like crazy but it's just now I'm so blessed for all the experiences I had I'm, I'm blessed for you know my family mistreat me in so many different ways you know because it took me a long time to figure that out like I was really in a hateful mode towards them like how could you do this and now I'm just like you know what I'm so glad I experienced this with y'all you know I don't mess with y'all I keep y'all from a distance you know I just like I told them before you know they're P.O.P. people of my past you know you allowed me to see myself for what I truly was I now I see what I'm capable of doing and how I'm able to help people evolve that you know that need that encouragement need that you know that 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 confirmation like or am I doing the right thing heck yeah you're doing the right thing you know if you got to exit everybody out your life or even the people that have hurt you you have to be able to say you know what even though that was a hurtful situation if the memories come back up don't allow yourself to sit up here and hold emotions towards that allow it to pass don't even engage in it that's why I always tell people because there are so many things that are coming up towards me <laughs> that I used to remember all the bad, hateful things that my family's done to me, you know, made fun of me, you know, bragged about who I was related to, but wanted to keep it a secret from me. You know, they had no problem with popping them lips until they popped their lips on what they wanted to, to who they wanted to. But it's like a blessing for me to be able to find out all these things about myself because it has made me so much stronger. Like, you know, if they even want to, because it's just like if we were to have to meet, and I know there's going to come a time where we're going to sit, sit up there and be face to face, but they're not going to even know how to approach me because I'm so different than what I was when for, and that's a scary situation, especially if you don't, they used to know how to pinpoint how I was going to react towards different things, when I was going to snap, and now when I'm playing it all cool and calm, that's the most scariest thing because they don't know what I said, they don't know who I said it to. And for somebody to be calm and uh, knowing that a mess about, I'd be scared too if I know I don't did some mess like that. And I'm just like back in the day, I'm like, oh, you didn't sign that ass kicking clause. And you were like, girl, what's that ass kicking clause? When you do the things that you do that you knew was going to get your ass whooped. And now it's like the fact is you didn't get that 50 50 chance. Like, what if they find out I did this? Now I'm just like, I ain't even got to worry. I tore up that ass kicking clause. I ain't got to worry about that. I'm going to let karma kick your ass. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that. But. Going through all those different things has helped me, you know, finding out who I am, what I am capable of, where the strength I got behind my pain, knowing my pain served a positive purpose. You know, put me in a traumatizing, you know, beginning and converted that over to a beautiful outcome because it's like this stuff made me so much stronger. Like, you, you know, people can come at me and I have to laugh because I said, these folks did this to me. Do you think there's anything you can pop off saying to me that's going to hurt me, penetrate me, shake me in any kind of way that these people haven't done? And that's your family. When they did things that like that to you, there's nothing, nothing you can't get over. Nothing you can get off because you're evolving in so many different ways. Because the situations you have gone through, yeah, it might hurt that somebody even tried you like that and said anything to you, came at you the wrong way, or try to test your try to test your gangster. That's what I'm basically trying to say. 
But then you go through all these different things and allow the, the pain that you have experienced in your life to mold you into that beautiful person you've always been. It's been hiding around that little shell that they didn't know how to take. Your, yourself didn't know how to take self. Now it's just like when you're seeing the beauty out of the pain that you have experienced. You know, being able to heal from the trauma that has, you know, been sent to your life is a beautiful situation because it's like it has gave you your strength. It, it, it has brought out that anger like, I mean, not anger, but animal that is willing to fight for anything just to have a positive purpose in their life. You're allowing, you know, you will not even allow the negative energy to even pierce your bubble because you were so spiritually involved. They were like, oh, who the heck is that? You know, it's like, this is not the person. Like, if anybody knew the old me, they were like, you know, if they approached me with that, I'm like, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to let you, allow you to believe whatever. I'm not going to convince you of nothing. I'm not going to prove you wrong and I'm not going to prove you right. You know, my, my, my energy speaks for itself. You know, I've evolved in so many different ways that I don't impress me. Like, girl, is that you? Like, yes. Being able to look at yourself in the mirror and love every aspect of yourself. Even though you might not be perfect, but who is? Love yourself, flaws and all. That's the beauty of it. But being able to know that the situations that have been placed in your life, that I messed you up in so many different ways, allowed you to evolve and say, I'm not a product of this. I'm not what you placed on me. Regardless of what negative situations people have said about you, that's how they feel about themselves. So they got to cast that out on you. You know, some people don't argue with people that argue with themselves. And I had to find that out. Don't never argue with somebody who argue with themselves. Allow them to do that by themselves. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all stay blessed. We're almost close to the end of the weekend. I cannot believe Sunday I'll be 42 years old. I'm like, dang, I don't even feel like it. My joints may feel like I'm like about in my 80s. But I, I really don't feel like I'm about to be 42. So uh, that's truly a blessing for God to allow me to see that. But I hope you stay blessed. I hope y'all have a prosperous week. Be responsible at every single thing you do. Send out as much positivity as you possibly can. You never know where it might take somebody. You never know what somebody's going through. Let me get my post notification out to Greg, Greg Sika, uh, Skaya, I think that's the name, Robert Cole, and Valentine Corsica, and I am Sam Holmes. Much love to you. I hope y'all have a blessed week. Like and subscribe. Even give me your input about this video. It's greatly appreciated. I love to hear, you know, y'all's input towards the videos is greatly appreciated but like and subscribe share give me a thumbs up even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my upload my next video and drop me a line so i can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out i don't know why i'm losing my breath post notification shout out now i'll see you on my next video much love to you peace be wild